Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into something that has been floating around online. We're going to be talking about the clip of Taeyang and So Yeji. The footage from my TV show and I have some thoughts on this. I also want to get into why people thought Taeyang was going to take legal action on this company. And this recent update with Hive and their new legal action. So grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into the tea. But before we do, we do have a sponsor for today's video. So let's roll that clip. I'm super excited to announce this video sponsor, which is none other than Raycon. They're truly the most reliable earbuds that I use for editing. And now that we can go outside, I will be continuing to use them on the train or when I go out to take a walk. They literally don't fall out, which has been an absolute game changer for me. With a lot of the other earbuds on the market, I never wanted to get them because I was just too scared that it was going to fall out and I was going to lose it. But these have never come out of my ears for me. They have a noise isolating fit and it really amps up the bass of the music. So if you like bass music, then give it a go, which I know most of you do because K-pop has a lot of bass. They have a six hour battery life. And I have said this before, it can last me more than an entire day. I only charge my Raycons like once every few days. These earbuds were co-founded by Ray J and I thought it was cool that Mike Tyson and Snoop Dogg are people who love these earbuds. Raycon has a 45 day return period, so there's really no risk here. I do have a link for you. Click the link in the description box to go to buyraycon.com slash Dave Desai to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Make sure you go and check out Raycon and thank them for sponsoring this channel. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when some new video drops. And if you're a hater, like to be first of your hate comments. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that official bell also so you can be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to talk about is what is going on with Taeyang and So Yeji. Now, if you aren't aware of who So Yeji is, she's a very famous actress in Korea. She's been around for a long time and she has been in big TV shows and movies. Right now, she's facing some serious backlash. Something about her being really rude and bullying people allegedly. I don't want to deny or confirm those claims because I don't know enough about it. This is just what's being reported on the news. So Yeji was definitely known as Korea's sweetheart actress and everyone loves her or loved her. She started facing some serious backlash recently over those claims and she's been allegedly replaced in certain shows and etc. However, she's more famous than ever now and people say that's a good thing and makes it worth it. Just a quick note because there's a big misconception that I feel everyone has. Being talked about as a celebrity is important. It keeps you relevant and all that, we know this. But if everything that's being said is leading to mass shows allegedly getting rid of you, then it's not great. If So Yeji is being allegedly replaced on TV shows, how does that help her in her career in the long run? It doesn't. I personally do not believe all publicity is good publicity because being famous doesn't guarantee making money. All these criminals we hear about on the news are famous, but they're not rich. But anyway, So Yeji is being talked about a lot and recent clips started to resurface back when she did the show Hua Rang. Now, if you recall correctly, our sweet little boy, our handsome little boy was on the show Hua Rang a little while ago. Our sweet Tay Tay. This was his acting debut and he did such an amazing job. Recently, some clips of Tang and So Yeji came to light on social media and people were seeing that they were on the same set together and obviously doing this show. According to a bunch of people, this was the only clip they could find as many people wanted to see their interactions with each other. They don't seem to have many backstage or award show type of reactions, although I don't know if So Yeji and Taeyang have been in an award show together. But one person on the tweetster found this clip and wrote, this is the closest Taeyang x So Yeji I could get. This person is obviously heartbroken that they couldn't find anything else. People were wondering since they're both attractive, if they've ever dated, and we don't see any of that out there. But they were together on set. At least the editors made it a Appear that Tan and So Yeji were together. So likely they may have spoken with each other before, maybe when the cameras turned off, but probably over lunch or just very casual talk as you do if you're working together. It's a weird industry because you can know this person and follow them or whatever, but you may only see this person once in your entire career because you only work on one project together. I think this could be the case with Taeyang. Of course, thoughts of if she was ever mean to Taeyang came about, at least after seeing these recent clips, I did think that because of just what is being talked about with So Yeji right now. But it doesn't seem we have any evidence of that either. However, it can definitely be a concern with ARMY because BTS members in general have been treated really poorly before. And I gotta be honest, it's not just BTS, it's any Asian in media. They all have stories of abuse and all that. If you do see any Asians on TV or whatever, just know they fought tooth and nail to be there and be taken seriously, specifically male Asians. Aside from the clip of Tang standing there and then the camera panning to So Yeji, there really isn't much else of them together from what I could find. I haven't actually watched the show yet, it's on my list. And honestly, even the way editing and TV magic works, so Yeji could have not even been on set that day. They just panned to her and it was like edited in. Tang is super sweet and that is how a lot of people felt about So Yeji before. So there was even several tweets before 2021 where we see people putting So Yeji and 
Taehyung side by side. It could be cool for Taehyung to have a deeper connection with more actors. I think it could open several doors for him in the future. Although I would imagine there isn't an actor or actress out there that doesn't know Taehyung at this point. We all know my husband Taehyung. He's very famous. He's so well known and everyone wants a piece of him. And Taehyung knows that. So he creates very cute things like Borahe, which means purple you. And we are so grateful for that phrase. Recently, I talked about Borahe being trademarked and what was going on with that. Just to recap, a salon or a spa shop wanted to trademark that phrase and then got over 4,000 complaints in just one day. They did apologize and decided that they were going to go ahead and go through the process of undoing that. I'm just curious about what their thought process was. It said that Tang did create Borahe, meaning it didn't exist beforehand. So I'm not sure what the salon was thinking of trademarking something they didn't come up with and using it for what. But anyway, armies rejoiced when they said they were going to drop the trademark. If the trademark went through, every army would have to basically stop saying it and using it because they would have to pay to use it. A lot of people thought that Taeyang may go forward with a lawsuit on it, but since it was dropped, there's nothing to have a lawsuit over. But also Taeyang is usually not the one to do that. I thought that was it, but apparently there's been an update recently. So we don't know if the official trademark process from the salon has been officially dropped, but Hybe is now apparently attempting to apply for copyrights to Borahe. I know I said previously that Hybe wouldn't want to copyright or trademark the phrase, or specifically sell it because they don't want to put a price on love for armies. That was my theory, but I think it's smart that they did this because the salon did the right thing by dropping the trademark. Ethically, it was the right thing because it's not theirs to trademark. However, that doesn't mean that some other company wouldn't attempt one day to trademark it, and 4,000 complaints may not even bother them. So they would just go ahead and do it. And quite honestly, I'm not sure if Tang were to take legal action at that point if he'd win the case and get the phrase back. Because legally, there's nothing wrong with what the salon company did. Like they can and are allowed to legally file for a trademark that hasn't been trademarked already, I believe. Since Proper U was not trademarked already, anyone can take it. But it's just ethically not right. Hive applying for the official rights would give armies a right to say the words. And it looks like they may even look into trademarking some other phrases that BTS or other artists would say. Just so the issue doesn't happen in the future. They seem really frustrated over this and they even released an official statement. They wrote, as there has been continuous attempts to acquire rights to representative terms related to HYBE and its artists, we have recognized this as a serious issue. We are doing our best to procure rights in order to prevent other businesses from processing or owning words related to our artists. The copyright claim to Borahe was also part of this objection. I'm glad they're doing it. I know it seems silly to most people and petty to copyright words like that, but those words and phrases mean a lot to the fans and to the culture that BTS brings. It's what Tang says the most. It wouldn't be quite fair to simply let other people not just say it, because that's fine, but allow other people to make money off of the phrase that Tang made up. It's kind of not okay. I'm curious to see what happens next. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring it in this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over there and check stuff out, I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down. So I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can currently get over 300 videos that are already up on there. We have a couple of spots left in the $1 tier if you would like to take a look at that, as well as a 10% sale going on over there if you would like to check that out. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions, all that will be linked down below. Make sure you check it out. There's also a video over there that kind of explains how you can support this channel a little bit more if you would like to do that. That particular video will be free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.